Okay, good morning. Today is a video on a follow-on from what I did a while ago. Um, sorry about this, this is just getting it right. Okay, I did one on wiring up a boat switch um, on a previous video. Uh, today what I want to do is actually insert the switch that I've wired up into a waterproof box which I purchased. Um, and I will put in the description down below where I purchased this from. Uh, quite reasonable, it's about 10 quid. Um, it's, it's a bit rocky, it's only because it's got a bit of a nodule at the bottom, so that'll be filed off and probably cut a hole in there for the mains wires to go to the battery. Um, so the idea is, is to fit this into here. Um, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to make a, a mark on the box on the di uh, on the measurements given to me which came with the switch which is 165 mil by 95 mil that's not what I want to cut out I do not want to cut that out that's the actual no it's not sorry that's the size of the screw hole I do apologize it's 110 mil by 180 so 110 mil that way by 180 mil across. I just want to mark that. Do not, do not want to cut that out. What I'll do then, I will measure the switch itself. Sorry about that. I shall measure the switch itself. So it, it sort of, if you can see that, it lines up almost up to the switch. Not quite. I'm going to leave about two mil gap. You see that? I'm going to leave a two mil gap. Where are we? There. Between that and the switch. And then the same with this as well, about two mil gap. So I will measure two mil from the connection point there, two mil from here on the side, and then again two mil from the top. And then I will measure that against this. So from, from the edge inwards up to two mil away, I will measure from the edge two mil from the edge of the switch and I shall mark that in and that is what I'll be cutting out and that should fit nicely so that's uh, one of my things I'll be doing today I'll be marking it, I'll show you how I'm doing as I progress now what I've done is measured the whole length of the box which is about 230 mil halved it so 110 and then I just <laughs> roughly guessed uh, the distance between each side leaving me uh, 180 mil in between which is 180 mil which is the length of the switch the casing of the switch so then i guess 25 mil each side which i've done if you look at that 25 mil that side and 25 mil that side uh, and that's giving me the right measurement so now i'm going to start with so if you must mark a rule get the rule and roughly well, if you can measure 25 mil again this side I just mark it and then put a line down there like so maybe a bit less than that maybe like that on the mark and same with the other side so measure 25 there just mark that roughly Okay, and then it's I think it's 20 mil. I don't know, that gives me the right measurement then for the other diameter. Let me just back out to you in a sec. Okay, so yeah, that's a little bit that's a little bit out. It's not I'm just, I made sure I cocked up with that, I should have gone the other way. Okay, two seconds. That's better, so it's the bottom line, okay. Anyway, 20 mil from top, 20 mil from bottom, 20 mil from side, 20, 20, no, 25 mil from side, 25 mil from side, giving me an internal box diameter of 180, which is correct. Can you see that? So there, a 180, and then 110. So if I measure that now, there you go. So that's 110. 
Okay, now the next thing is to measure from this edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge. Enough clearance, so you're looking at what? Uh, I'm going to give that less than that. I'm going to probably about 10 mil. 10 mil that side, 10 mil this side, and then from the top, same again, 10 mil all round. Yeah, 10 mil all round. So if I put another line now, 10 mil all the way round. That was the internal diameter that I want this to sit into. So this will be sitting with about two mil to spare inside this box, with luck, okay? So that should be okay. So I'll mark that out and I'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, so external diameter of switch. Let me show you that. Okay, internal diameter where I want it to end up. So, what I'm going to do when I sort, I'm going to drill a hole, which I'll show you. I'll drill a hole in the, either each corner. I've got a jigsaw, uh, and what I'll do then, I will, um, I will cut on the inside of this line, not on the outside. Okay, and I'll show you that when it's done. All right. So I'll get back to you in a sec. I just took the switch apart and inside I just noticed a piece of rubber which will then feed. That's a bit weird, it doesn't sit that well, does it? Oh no, it does. Yeah, so you'll feed the rubber in around the edge like so. I'm not going to do it just yet until I've cut, until I've cut that out. Um, and then here on the box, if you can do all the screws, if you can see that. Can you see that? There's a lip. Sorry, is that your focus? Anyway, there's a lip that runs all the way around, which will then push up against this and makes it a water waterproof box as well. But like I said, I'll put this in the description down below. Uh, and yeah, let's get on with it. Okay, being ultra careful. It's quite a big drill bit. It doesn't really matter because I want to get the jigsaw in. Pick one corner. Burn through. Just nice and gently. You can do all four corners if you want, just to make it easier for the jigsaw as well. And you can file it afterwards. There's an old saying it says measure twice cut once okay so make sure you measure they're not expensive boxes anyway but that's not the point the point is so. okay okay a jigsaw if you can see nice and steady back to that hole nice and steady all the way around. A tip, when you're jigsawing, don't pull the jigsaw out while it's still moving. Leave it in there, let it stop, otherwise it could bounce against the plastic. And I've had it happen before, and then the plastic snaps and you have to buy a new box anyway. So leave the jigsaw until it stops, take the jigsaw out, and then do the next line. So I'm just going to nip through these with a knife or whatever I want. I've got a small, and then I'm going to use a file and get it all level. Okay, I just went through. You you can trim the edge with a knife. Please be careful. Okay, make sure you're pushing away from you. It'll take a little while. But do not bring the knife towards you, okay? I used to be a butcher for many years and I've seen some horrific accidents, okay? okay so take, take the knife away from you. It doesn't have to be that accurate because, like you say, you give a little bit. You can clean up the edges a bit as well using a knife. Sorry for that. Okay, so same with this one. Just be careful. Nice and steady. It doesn't take long. 
as you can see. My knives are pretty sharp, so all right, then you can file it nice and tidy. A bit more to do in this one. Okay, and a bit more. As you see, I've used just a pencil and it'll rub off afterwards. A bit too much on that one. There you go. So I'll now get a file. Shall we look see if the switch switches? The switch switches? Shall we have a look see if the switch fits? Oh look at that! Look at that! Beautiful! Okay, I will also put the measurements down as well in the description down below. Okay, right so I'll get this fitted and uh, secure. Okay, so to finish it off, insert, I'm going to put insert your beading around. If you can see that, this is pretty straightforward to do. There you go. Okay, when I've, well, when uh, when I'm doing the description on this as well, the measurement of this box when I bought it was to correspond with the switch that I bought. I will explain in a second. Well, well it's easy to explain. The depth of the switch. So, the depth. So, from here to where the wires are, I've allowed the depth of the box when I look for it. So if you've got one of these switches exactly the same then this is the box that you're going to require otherwise you're anything smaller and it's not going to fit so this is what i'll leave in the description i'll even put in the description as well we're there now so just going to over just going to leave that by about two centimeters okay then i'll bring it back a bit Push that in first. You can see that? So I've left it a little bit over, and that will just just causes it to push that up. And there we go. All right. <clears throat> so, like I said, when I bought the box, I allowed for the for the width of the box. There we go. Okay, so the switch will fit without the wires, well, forcing it to sit upright. So there you go, it sits flush. So there's plenty of room underneath. I'm not going to secure mine now, but the simple reason is, first of all, I'm going to buy some stainless steel uh, nuts and bolts, or nuts and screws, whatever you want to call them, to go through there. But also, um, I think it would be a good idea, if we put a bit of sealant, silicon, underneath the edge to make it watertight uh, and then then put the screws in and then we'll screw the lid down and everything then so uh, yeah sealant make it nice and watertight because the box is watertight anyway it's a watertight box um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you did thumbs up would be great any comments you can leave down below I will leave descriptions of the box and the switch together where I bought them from um, and if I get a chance, I'll, I'll even put the measurements down. But sure. I might take a photograph of this and pop this in in the uh, video as well. Okay, thanks for watching. If you'd like to subscribe, share, or just comment, that would be great. See you in the next vid. Take care. Goodbye.